U.S. President Donald Trump has arrived in South Korea, marking the first official state visit by a sitting U.S. president in 25 years. He will be holding crunch talks with President Moon Jae-in, with the main topic on the agenda being the North Korea nuclear situation. But first, he is currently visiting a U.S. military base. To tell us more about his visit, we now connect with Kwon Jang Ho at the Foreign Ministry. Jang Ho, how has President Trump's arrival been marked? Good afternoon, Down. So, President Trump arrived safe and sound in South Korea about an hour and a half ago. Now, as you mentioned, there have been several uh, U.S. presidents who have visited South Korea over the past few years, but it's the first formal state visit in 25 years. Now, that means laying out the red carpet and an honor guard to greet him. Kang kyung wah the foreign minister, was also there to shake hands and greet him personally. He then promptly hopped aboard Marine One, the president's helicopter that has been specially brought in from the U.S., and he travelled to Camp Humphreys, a U.S. military base about 60 kilometres south of Seoul. However, he was also met with a surprise welcome by President Moon Jae-in at Camp Humphreys after an unannounced change to the schedule. They met with American and South, uh, South Korean troops and shared lunch with them at the military canteen. They'll be on their way to the Blue House in Seoul soon, where a welcoming ceremony will take place, as you mentioned earlier, before official talks begin. Well, the two will begin discussion soon, and anticipation is high over what will come out of those talks. What can we expect? Well, first, the message they'll want to send is of a strong South Korea-U.S. alliance and cooperation on the North Korean nuclear situation. Now, they're likely to reiterate their stance of a strong and uh, strong sanctions and pressure. But uh, Moon Jae-in is looking to encourage dialogue as well, while President Trump is said to have agreed with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe that now is not the time for dialogue. But despite this difference, uh, Trump only this morning described Moon on Twitter as a quite, as a quote, fine gentleman and said we will figure it all out. So there seems to be a positive tone to this visit. After the talks, the two presidents will hold a joint press conference together. And later in the evening, there will also be a lavish state dinner. Back to you, Dan.